One thing I'd like to say real quick before the video starts, if you're wondering why some of the live streams have been unlisted and you can't get to them, basically just go to my playlists and go to the live stream playlist. It was just crowding things up and I've been making a lot of, you know, videos recently, so, you know, just go to the live streams playlist if you want to find those unlisted live streams. This is me after editing. I say basically way too much in this video. Ugh. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm the System 3 and today I'm going to show you the best way to start and get to World 8 of Super Mario Bros. 3. Now this video will have some cuts because obviously you don't want to see every little bit of it. It's, some stuff is obviously self-explanatory considering it's a Mario game. And uh, yeah, so speaking of retro, will be coming soon, don't you worry. Uh, I've been not releasing good quality videos for a little bit, but you know, I'm all settled into my room now. My setup's really nice. Recently got a new keyboard. Everything's nice and happy in here. It's really cozy. So yeah, definitely be doing that. I already filmed a little bit actually earlier, but, and since I always wear sweaters and these things, obviously, um, the continuity will be fine because I just wear the same few sweaters, um, over my shirts. Very handy thing there. They're also comfortable, except they get hot while filming. So anyway, what you- Gosh, well, didn't pay attention there, so this isn't gonna be a perfect representation. But you know, me doing this without being hurt would be very hard, obviously. So I'm playing on the Retron 5, just because it looks good. If I- and also you don't hear the CRT sound on the microphone. Though, if I were, um, playing normally, I would play on the original system. But this is, you know, it's not gonna use any- weird things with the Retron 5. You can do this with the NES, um, and I have done it on the NES in some of my earlier streams before I realized, hey, maybe when I'm recording stuff, maybe, maybe the Retron 5 is actually good for that. But anyway, so basically, here's the infinite life glitch. You basically just spam A when you have your little gliding thing. So, um, yeah, you basically just keep doing this, and I'll, sh I'll show you up to here, basically. I've, if you've played a lot of this game, you definitely know this, but you know, it's a very handy thing to know. Um, and I'll show you why it's also good to just get a lot of points, even if you do fail, like that's still kind of a good thing. So, if you get enough points in a level, you can get this mini game where you flip cards. And so basically, if you get hurt, or you don't have anything in the first place, basically you can get your first mushroom there, and then that will be the feather. Um, obviously the first one was the feather, because I'm already, I already have a feather, but y you get the point. Um, so basically, well you just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop saying basically, because, yes, I guess in my first tutorial, I don't, I mean, I did do that VHS one, you might have seen it, because, um, it's my most popular video, it's over 3,000 views, I'm pretty sure, it's pretty crazy. Um, and you know, I'd also like to say thank you for 70 subscribers, because I literally not once asked people to subscribe. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I will never ask people to subscribe. I gotta let Sophie in. Give me a moment. Hi there. Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. You're the best puppy. Yeah, so anyway, I will never ask people to subscribe if you are wondering about that. Um, so yeah, basically you just want to do this. I will either fast forward or do a jump cut starting now. Or maybe now. Oh, when will I do the jump cut? I guess you'll never know. As you can see, I died right then because I wanted to restart. But you still keep your lives and stuff, obviously. And one other thing is actually, if you do keep dying, you know, you can't actually get extra points because all those points come together afterwards and then you get more games, obviously. You're not normally supposed to get that many points, so, you know. Um, so you just keep dying, getting lives, dying, getting lives, if you really want to get a lot of resources. So anyway, uh, one thing I'd like to say while I'm playing in the background is if you think you can't beat this game or something like that, or just retro games in general, or just really hard games in general, I mean, I haven't beaten very hard games. This isn't a hard game if you beat it normally, obviously, or not normally, you know, the way I'm doing it. But I'm really bad at games, really, yeah, no, not even at least retro games. I'm just bad at games, period. There's no doubt about it. I'm not very good at games. Um, you could make the argument I'm pretty good at Minecraft, but that's about it. I mean, I'm not good at building in Minecraft. Um, so, you know, if you look at the stream that's playing in front of you right now, um, you can see, yeah, 
Um, I actually spent 11 hours total making, or not making, trying to beat this game. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, just know, you know, I am not good at games. So if I can beat this game, you can beat it. And, yeah. So, back to me. So now, as you can see, um, I've gone 30 lives. And I've just been getting a bunch of points, really, and dying a couple of times. Just so I could get a bunch of points, because I won't need too many lives. Just so you know, you can go up to 99 lives if you didn't know that. Um, you know, if you could go up to 1,000, that would be something. So anyway, as you can see, you have all the games here. So, basically what you want to do, I'll put a picture of it up right now, is get this one of these pictures of every single combination. There is a small chance you could get it wrong because a lot of them are in some capacity similar. So, you know, like that, that might be a problem. But other than that, you just basically just want to get that picture and uh, see what you can win. You know, you win 99% of it. It's very rare that you actually won't succeed with that picture. So, you know, let's see what I get. Okay. So I have my picture. Yeah, I got one. Completed. Got all that stuff. Look at that. Oh, I only got one somehow. I don't know. I guess I must have done pretty well, despite me doing kind of badly. Um, so that's fun. So basically, after we do that, you just want to go continue the levels. Well, not continue necessarily. So basically, you know, let's say you have 99 lives if this is your first time trying to beat it beat the game. Uh, there's a secret here, but it doesn't matter. Basically, do that. You can get some coins, but it won't really matter if you have all these lives. So I'm just gonna avoid it. You just basically press A when you jump. To, you know. There's also a secret here. So that's fun. I actually needed that, which is nice. So then, right past here, there is this white little thing, and any white brought block like this. I know there's a couple throughout the game. You can crouch. And yeah, so basically just, I don't know, it's weird. Just don't do, like, try not hurting as many things as you can, because, I don't know, kind of, something takes you out of it. But basically, you go, you go, you do go behind there, you just run through it, you go through the background, and then you get your first whistle. What the whistles do is they basically take you to a faraway land. So basically, if you're in world one, it'll take you to world, I think, seven. Um, if you're in world two, it'll take you to also world seven. So basically, you need two of them. Um, and so, yeah. So what you'd normally do would be to go to the second world to get the second whistle so you could go to world eight. But what I'd do is i just get the whistle here. Get this nice little, uh, get this nice little toad house. Because toad houses are nice, am I right? I mean, look at this. Boom. Leaf. Metal one's a leaf. I'm, I think it's all the time. I'm actually not sure. Uh, so the second whistle is in this castle. So basically, you can get your two whistles to get to world 8 just like this. I'll show you why you want two whistles soon. You can get this, of course, if you need it. You know, if you're, like, small. Because you won't be able to get the, the, uh, the leaf in the future if you are small. Fun little fact there. Um, so you can just do that. Don't go into the door, that's very annoying. And then you just fly up here by pressing A. And then you run to the side. And then just jump and press up on the D-pad. And you got your whistle. So now you have both your whistles. But here's the thing. There is a specific level. I might show you a clip of this it from the stream right now. Yeah, so basically what... <laughs> For that level, you definitely want a the P-Wing. The P-Wing basically lets you just skip everything. Uh, or not everything. You can fly f for as long as you want, as long as you don't get hurt. Just try not to get hurt. Yeah, you, no, you can't be invincible most likely. Um, yeah, I, I, I know I suck. I didn't get five lines there. I don't care, though, because I don't need them. So anyway, you know, you keep going. You have your two whistles. Um, Princess Peach, once you beat the first castle, give you that peeling. And I promise you, it's definitely worth doing these extra levels to skip that one stupid level. Very worth it. I, I'd, I'd know. I've lost some good Marios. I would say good men, but, you know, I gotta be unique doing that. So, you know, this world, this level is also pretty easy. Level 4 is just a pain, and there's basically no reason to do it. Unless you want extra lives, but obviously there's the infinite life trick, and 
you know, if you really are doing that, you're pro- Oh my gosh, I just died in a playthrough. I'll just see you when I get to Princess Peach's Castle, as they call it. Not castle, castle. Oh, and one thing, um, you can also get a game after that too, right here. Uh, the flip flipping game. I don't care, I'm just gonna fail. Hey look, we're here at Princess Peach's castle. Wow. She's asking for help. We must do that. This level has been made very well to get a lot of noobs out there, bro. Just do this, he'll bounce up the wall, he won't hit you. Well, then he hit me, but, you know. Oh my gosh, I am speedrunning, like a speedrunner. <laughs> anyway, yeah, basically, basically, you basically want to get this basically, basically wand. And once you get the wand, basically, what you want to basically do is jump off the plane, which you don't have to do, but basically once that happens, <laughs> um, the king becomes himself again. Yay. And then, then he gives you Princess Peach's letter, which I don't think he would have given you if you had saved him, which I think is pretty mean. Um, that toad is too excited. As you can see, you can get that. Greetings, if you see any ghosts, be careful, they'll chase you. Yeah. And then you get the P-Wing. What you want to do is go to World 7, although I think you can do it at World 5. I just go to 7 to be safe. Um, and you should too. World 7's a pain. That, that's as much as I know. You go here. And, yeah, you're at World 8. And once you're at World 8, there you go. So you want to use that P-Wing at that one certain level. That level, um, yeah, you know the level. Yeah. So anyway, uh, with that, I'm Zan System 3. This has been how to get to World 7 in Super Mario Bros. 3 with ease and with a bunch of extra resources. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you with Super Mario Bros. 3. Good luck. Oh gosh, something just fell behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh, my sword, my Zelda sword fell off the wall. Don't worry, it's not a real sharp sword. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone caught that, but yeah, anyway, I'm Zan System 3. Uh, maybe I'll give a world, um, a tour, or not tour, thing later. Um, yeah. And goodbye.